What's going on everyone? So earlier this morning, I went out with my friend Chip to learn how to catch the mullet with the cast net. This is my first time cast netting and um, this is my first time trying to use live finger mullet for bait. Let's see what I get. So never, never put this through there so it gets tight. You catch a, a big fish, you don't, you can't get out of that. So this it's, gives you enough room there to hold on to it. Just make little circles. So you don't, you're not trying to stack them all neat or whatnot. Just just, yeah, just bring to, it in. Just bring enough. it in. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to then reach about a third of the way down, bend it over. With your dominant hand, right? With your dominant hand. With your dominant hand. So now you're just going to grab the middle. The middle, grab the right, right side, side, grab the left, left side. side, and then put a third of it. Put a third of it in your hand. And then make sure that it's smooth. And there are two, three. Okay. So it's essentially already open. So now it's, it's basically already open. Already open now. Okay. Yep. So now all you have to do is throw it like a frisbee, so it stays open. There goes nothing. Yeah! Look at that, guys! And what you want to do is you're, you're looking for... You're looking for them. You can see them kind of move in the water. Instead of blind casting, look for them. I see them moving right in front of me. Oh, yes! That's a, that opened up right perfectly. We are back at the beach and I've got a really special bait today. Live finger mullet. We cast netted for these this morning. We got about a couple dozen of them and this is a really good bait around the area. I have yet, I have yet to use a, a live finger mullet on the beach before. I wonder what I'm gonna catch. I have a feeling and I'm kind of hoping for some red drum, but I'm sure there are gonna be other sharks and other things that are gonna be uh, biting. I don't know. We're going to give it a try. My friend Chip, the sinker guy, recommended this rig to us. It's just basically a fish finder rig right here. We're using a Sputnik sinker and um, a size 4 circle hook here. Alright, they're so squirmy. They're like little torpedoes. Look at them. This is the perfect size right here. Just like that. This is how I'm going to hook it right through the eye socket. This is minimal damage, so it can swim freely. Look, it barely even pierced it. It's very much still alive. I'm gonna try and cast it into the first trough right here. See what's lurking in the first trough. My goodness, your lights are getting dark. Are they? Can, uh, can I just show off the roll? Oh, Woo! that's hand? Hello. Oh yeah. Hello. <laughs> Alright, here's my rod number two. This is my 10 foot black diamond. I usually come to the beach with two different rods. A 13 foot and a 10 foot. Uh, this is my 10 footer. I've got my 8,000 sized uh, Saragossa on here as well. And this is 30 pound braid. So yeah, I, usually we get a lot of questions about what kind of rods and, and reels we're using. Um, and it's pretty much the same every time I go out. My 10 foot and my 13 foot. Both of them around 30 to 40 pound braid. Uh, oh, here we go. Come on. I'm just dragging it across the top now. I wonder what it is. Oh, it just got off. It just got off. What was that? I'm not sure. Oh. Look at my bait. It wasn't a shark. I should have let it eat a little bit longer. Darn it. I'm 
not sure. It was it wasn't that big. It might have been a trout. It might have been trout, I'm not sure. Player three has entered the arena. I decided to use another rod. Three is better than two. Let's do it. This is the nine foot Mojo Surf. This is gonna go in the first drop. I thought you were this here. Snap me. Dang. Alright, I gotta put on some heavier leader. That was only 50 pounds. Look, it just cut me right off. Alright, let's try that again. That was fun. I'm retying it because I don't want it to get bitten off again. Alright, kind of surprising. I didn't know a shark, I didn't think a shark would bite it. I'm gonna put another live mullet on. And this time I've got 80 pound braid, 80 pound mono instead of 50. Hopefully this time it won't snap off. 80 instead of 50 this time. Done. Good thing I had the 80 pound on. Look at that teeth. Look at the teeth on that guy. Okay. Not what we're going for, but that was, that was adrenaline pumping. It's funny because I was literally just saying, I was kind of feeling discouraged because I hadn't gotten a bite for a while. And then all I was saying, all it takes is one second and it could be a huge fish on the next second. And literally, as I said that, it happened. <laughs> all right, let's, let's, we're hoping for a red drum, but sharks are fun too. I kind of don't really like messing with them because I don't want to get my finger bitten off. I'll be looking like this. <laughs> We ended up missing this on camera, but I got a big pull on the mullet and it completely bent this hook out. I felt it pull and then I felt the pop and the pop must have been this hook bending out and the fish jumping off. Okay, so they were chopping it up earlier, like just like this. And then, so we put out some cut bait. That's the culprit. That's the culprit. Well, we didn't catch a big red drum, but we still got plenty of action on live mullet. I'm not sure what we could have done differently, 
That's just how it goes sometimes. Next time, I'll pack steel eaters so that I can at least target the shark a little more efficiently. It's been another lovely day fishing here in Florida. You just can't beat the views here. Look at the rainbow. Oh, it's so nice. It's, it's raining, guys. I'm gonna have to put away the cameras, but that is the end. Our conclusion is it catches all sorts of different sharks and, sh and toothy predators. That's our first time trying it. I'm sure, like, I'm sure we're doing something wrong. I'm trying to hit red drum, not hit all these different sharks. Um, but at least I had the rig ready for sharks. You know, I, I tied it with 80 pound braid so I didn't get snapped off every time. What is your favorite way to use mullet? And what is the best thing you've caught on mullet? What kind of stuff do you target with mullet? Comment that stuff below. If you can give us some advice, that'd be great. Here at Hay Skipper, we want to help as many people get on fish as possible. We do this by doing video tutorials, writing ebooks, and sharing all sorts of different stuff online. Check us out at hayskipperfishing.com if you want to learn more. Thank you all for watching. See you next week. Brendan Thatch not only comes to South Ponte Vedra Beach for fun, but he also depends on it for his livelihood. He's one of the creators of Hey Skipper, a show on YouTube with almost 250,000 subscribers. In our show, we teach all sorts of families and um, parents, kids, how to fish. I base my whole life around the beachfront.